Walt just got an exclusive review of the Chrome browser. He had it for about a week, I guess, and was <laughs> and reviewed it and gave it a relatively negative review, I think. I, I considered. I mean, Google considered a negative review at least. I happened to be there, and they started sort of glaring at me during the launch. Um, they had a press conference, and I kept saying, "Do I look like I have a small beard and?" Uh, and I'm a white guy, but they didn't tell the difference. So tell me what, what your thoughts were on the, on the browser itself. I, I will, but before I do that, right. why do you have the largest Ralph Lauren <laughs> logo in the world on your shirt? I, you know, getting fashion advice from you is really... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's like um, runway, it's like, out, you're out. But go ahead. Um, well, I don't think I gave Chrome a negative review. Um, how many of you have tried it by now? So, uh, you know, what I said about it, my theory about it was that um, they, uh, it, I bet it was bold, that it was innovative, uh, that it, uh, in lots of scenarios, would make web browsing easier and simpler. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, it's like a lot of things they do at Google. It's a, it's a beta. Right. They say it won't be an eternal beta. I don't know how many of you know, but Gmail is still in beta. Uh, and there are some things that are, that are left out of it that are uh, quite common. Uh, for some reason, although they spent two years working on it, they didn't quite make it to, so that a, there's a progress bar in it when pages load. They didn't quite put it's in because a... because they're smarter than the rest of us. And they no, know you know exactly. what they... T I'll tell you what they told me. They told me that they think the progress bars in the other browsers aren't precise enough, so they need to engineer a better one. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but you could have put sort of a regular one in, you know, like now. They, uh, you know, there's no... Um, there's no quick command for emailing a link to a page or the contents of a page right from within the browser, which is a pretty standard feature. There's no bookmarks manager user interface that you can use to really fully organize your bookmarks. And, and in fairness to them, they say every one of those things is something that will, that will uh, make it in. Well, why they I, I, think the, I think the other thing I need to point out is I did speed tests. You know, I took large folders of bookmarks and opened them in, on the very same computer on, in Chrome and in Internet Explorer 8 and in uh, Firefox and Safari, the Windows version of Safari, and uh, you know they were about in the middle of the group. Fascinatingly, at their press conference, theirs was always 27 times faster than anything else. Yeah, well, that wasn't that wasn't true. Now, some of their speed improvement that they're counting on, it can't be tested, can't be verified because they're saying it will depend on other people writing phenomenally more sophisticated web apps than exist today that rely on JavaScript. And when that happens, their JavaScript engine will put them way ahead. Why do you think they released it now? I mean, it, it, it is in a, I mean, from some of the reasons, it's in a subpar, it's not quite ready for prime time, and yet they released it early. Uh, well, well I, I think you're fine browsing with it. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it, it works pretty well. There's a few, uh, uh, sites where it has an issue, but not too many. But you didn't love, love, love it. They, they put it out because they're, they, every day they are worried about Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Microsoft controls 75% of the browser market, and they think Microsoft will do some tweak or something to IE that will put them at a disadvantage. And then, se and then secondly... Justifiable? You know, they're arch rivals, sure. Microsoft could, could do that. I mean, the fact they've had a history of doing things like that, but are they really, at this point, Google being very powerful on its own? I mean, it's sort of, it's funny for them to, to me, it's funny for them to play the victim. It's sort of like the guy, the person with the gun, with the giant howitzer is saying, I'm really in trouble. Yeah, I know, I agree with you totally on that. I, 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 look, there, there are two things to say about where Microsoft is right now in the browser space. Uh, one is, those of you who've looked at IE8, the, the new second beta, it's which really, yeah, which I also threw into the review, uh, it's really the best version of IE in years, and, and it's very uh, careful to allow you to switch to uh, Google or Yahoo or some other uh, search engine and, and associated uh, properties. Uh, but it def does default, it has a feature in it called accelerators. Which uh, where you can highlight a, a word or, 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 or a phrase on a web page and map it or search for it or do a variety of things. Well, those are all those all default to the Microsoft Live 
mapping service, the Microsoft Live search engine, and so forth. And I think Google looked at that as, e even though you can go into settings and change it all to Google, Google looked at that as a bad sign. And, and so that sort of thing is, is what they're, they're, they're worried about. But you're right. Google's not a fledgling company. They have tremendous power. And uh, it's really much more of a clash you of, of You imagine of the two titles. things are going to be the, the browsers are going to, they're going to get to a parity of any kind of? I, I, have, I, I have no idea. Do, do they have to do this thing? Do they have to do the browser? I mean, a lot of people thought they should have done it years ago. Well, yeah, but the other thing, the other thing that's really important that I think is one of the reasons they're doing the browser, and they, 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 there is a document where they say this. They say, don't think of this as a web browser. Think of it as a platform for running uh, web applications. Google believes in web applications, cloud computing. Lots of other companies do. Parts of Microsoft do. Other parts of Microsoft aren't as crazy about the idea. Um, Google, as you all know, has a bunch of web apps uh, uh, that already exist. Uh, some of them, like Gmail, have done well, although I would point out still have significantly, Gmail still has significantly fewer users than Yahoo Mail or Hotmail, uh, but it's done well. Other things like Google Docs have had very slow pickup. And Google believes that's because the browsers that are out there now, including Mozilla, which they've cooperated a lot with, I don't have the horsepower under the hood to really let you do a highly sophisticated thing. So that's one of the reasons they put out so Chrome. is really, it's a browser, but it's also a, almost, you could almost think of it as a web which, operating Which, of system. course, Google, if you were listening to a lot of stuff they were saying, oh, we're just a browser, we're not a web platform, which was... Disingenuous, to say the least. I thought. Well, the quote quote from one of their briefing documents that I used in my review was, and I'm paraphrasing, but I think this is pretty close to the exact wording which I put in my column. Don't think of this as just a web browser; it's a platform for right. running applications. Which they ran backwards from when they were in the press conference. They're like, "No, Microsoft. What are you talking about?" You know, and which is an interesting kind of you know they're doing the same thing in the Yahoo Google. Um, advertising consortium that they're going to put together that's about to be launched in October. I mean, these companies are com going to be competing in a variety of fronts. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I said in the column, and I do believe that both Chrome and IE8, as they, which are both in beta, as they develop, I think have a chance to challenge Firefox for uh, kind of the crown of being the best browser. I, I, at least I personally, and have said so in print, think Firefox has been the best browser, but these both have a, a, a good chance to do it. But it's part of a multifaceted competition with Microsoft.